Hi, we are here for 14.4, Compose More Shapes. Our essential question is how can you combine two-dimensional shapes to make new shapes? So for this explore portion, we're going to use shapes to fill each outline. We're going to draw to show our work. Um, have children use two shapes to fill the outline on the left and draw a line to show those two shapes. Then have children use three shapes to fill the outline on the right, again drawing lines to show those shapes. Okay, so for this one on the left, we're going to use one line to draw two shapes. So we'll draw a line right across here. Oops. Let me get my marker right here. So then we have one, two shapes. We have a square and we have a triangle. Okay. Then for the shape on the right, use three shapes to fill the shape. Fill the outline. So we're going to draw a line straight across here. That'll be one triangle. And then because it says to use three shapes, we have to divide this portion in half. So we could divide it in like that. It doesn't have to be even. So we can have two shapes and three shapes. Okay. All right. Model and draw combined shapes to make a new shape. So they combine these two rectangles, one, two, to make a super rectangle or a awkward looking shape right here. There's different ways that you can combine them. You can twist and turn them. You can combine them like this. You can combine one leg down and one leg then, okay, share and show. Circle two shapes that can combine to make the shape on the left, okay? So we wanna make this circle. Can this rectangle help us make the circle? No, so we're gonna cross it out and circle our two shapes because when we put those together, it makes a circle, okay? All right, <clears throat> circle two shapes. I can combine. So it has to be two shapes. It can't be more, it can't be less. So if I use this triangle right here, number two, it would fill a portion of my rectangle, but it would not create the entire shape. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that line. Okay. Get my marker back up. Okay. So the triangle does not work. So then I have my two squares that I can combine to make my rectangle. And you can see them illustrated right here. Okay, all right, number three. So we have this awkward teardrop looking shape. Okay, we can use our shapes to help build it. I would draw a line in half to see if I can find any shapes that look similar to that. Do I see anything that matches that? I see this one and I see this one. Okay, if I were going to try and use this middle shape right here, I would look at it and I would add it to my shape. Let's erase this line. Okay, and then I would draw and then I would note that it actually does not fill the shape and it goes outside of the shape a little bit. So it cannot be that middle. Let's go ahead and delete that comment. Okay, doke. All right. Number four, circle two shapes that can combine to make the shape on the left. Again, circle two shapes, not three, not four, not five, not one, two shapes. Okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, so this rectangle right here, if I put a rectangle in here, it does not fill the shape completely. It does not make the shape completely. So then I will cross out my rectangle. And then I will use my pen. Okay, so then I'm going to draw my square. I'll draw my line right there. And then I see a square right here and a seam right here. And I notice that these match. So I'm going to circle those two shapes. Okay, all right. All right. 
Um, sorry, my cats are going crazy. Um, number five. We're going to use two shapes to create the shape on the left. We're going to do the same thing that we've been doing. Okay, I'm going to draw a line from corner to corner right here to see if it can help me identify any more shapes that I can use. So I noticed that a square right here, so I'm going to use a square right here. And I noticed a triangle right here, so I'm going to use a triangle right here. Do I see this middle shape right here? No, I do not. So I'm going to cross it out. Okay, number six and number seven. Draw lines to show two different ways to combine the shapes on the left to make new shapes on the right. <coughs> Okay, so we have two squares and a rectangle right here, and we're going to draw over here to show the two ways. Okay, so I see one way right here, and one way right here. So here's my rectangle and my two squares. Then I see one way right here, and another way. So that's just showing you that the rectangle can be on the left side or the right side. Okay, now number seven, we have two rectangles and two, or not two rectangles, two squares and two triangles. So I know that I can draw a line right here and a line right here. So I have my two triangles and then my two squares right here. Now I can do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw my line right here. Draw my line right here. And any of these squares can be the triangles. Okay. All right, for the daily assessment task, I want you guys to try and complete this as much on your own as you can. For number one, which shapes can combine to make a circle? You're going to find which shapes combine to make a circle. Number nine, Alana builds this shape. She builds this star. Esther takes the shape apart. She uses the same blocks, so she uses the same amount of blocks. What new shape can she make? Number ten, which shapes can combine to make the new shape? And for homework and practice, I want to see you guys do this on your own as much as possible. Okay. All right. So that is the end of 14.4, Compose More Shapes. I'm going to 